know, I grew up listening to my mum's stories about that. And I don't know, it might sound kind of dumb, but every Friday night we used to get Chinese takeaway food from a shop down in St Kilda. And yeah, it just felt kind of normal to you know, be interested in China. When I was in high school, uh, there was a big push to get Australian high school children to learn Japanese and Chinese. You know, you were really told in the future, Australia will engage a lot more with Asia. So you know, it, it will be good for your future to learn Japanese and Chinese. It was just such a fun place because uh, it's, you know, it's quite a big city. People in Lanzhou, they just want to have a good time. Uh, if you say to them, you know, let's go out for a beer, let's go and have something to eat. Uh, they're just wonderful people. Everyone's friendly. The food's very good. Yeah, it was, it was a great time. 2005 was definitely one of the happiest years of my life. I made some really great friends. I've still got lots of friends in Lanzhou. Uh, I had a band, um, every now and again people would recognise me in Lanzhou and say, hey, you're the guy from that band, from Ro Jiao Mo. I still have some friends in Xinjiang who I, you know, talk to on WeChat sometimes. Uh, I had a great time there. I think some of the studies that get quoted you know, I think are pretty misleading. I think when there's a lot of Western discussion in Australian media about how, oh, you know, China has developed and, you know, what does that mean? Like, I really know what it means. I've, I've seen what it meant for my, for my friends and the improvement in their standards of living. I, I think actually having a personal understanding of that does change your opinion on, on how, how China works. working on areas of mutual interest. So I think things like agricultural research, climate policy, you know, we're both big countries with lots of desert. Uh, you know, we should be both be really interested in how to feed ourselves and how to feed our neighboring countries. There's still a lot of mutual interest, a lot of mutual respect between people at, at those levels.